Hi, I'm Hayden at NI here at IMS 2015, and I wanted to give you an overview of the hardware and software of uh, the, the semiconductor test system, or STS. And so this particular STS T2 that we have here is, uh, has a single PXI chassis with two NI vector signal transceivers integrated in it. And one of the new things we have in this is a RF subsystem that has RF port modules that gives us the ability to do modulated measurements as well as S-parameter measurements, up to 48 ports at the tester I.O. interface. So this is very common, this type of form factor for production test cell integration. And this makes it easier to get the PXI platform, which is the core of STS, uh, I into that environment. So now that we kind of understand a little bit about what's you know, in, inside the tester, the PXI and the, and the RF subsystem, um, let's go over and take a look at how this is going to work in software for running tests. So now that we have seen the hardware, looking at the software, there's two things that I want to show you about the software for STS. Is one is the uh, test engineering interface, which is done with uh, NI Test Stand and, and LabVIEW, and then the, the operator interface. And this is the software that a, a test operator would use um, when they're on a manufacturing floor. So let's take a look at the test engineering interface. So here we can see that we have NI Test Stand. And in here we have LabVIEW code modules, and so we have two subsequences, one for doing S-parameter measurements and one for doing YLAN measurements. And so this, these S-parameter measurements were enabled by that RF port module we saw in the hardware earlier. So looking into the YLAN measurement, you can see that we're doing uh, a power servo, and this is using the NI vector signal transceiver FPGA to do that, that uh, operation in hardware. And we're able to do a number of uh, frequencies and servos and, um, to do an EVM measurement at a particular power level for this device. And so we can go ahead and run this. And one of the nice things that we're, we're seeing here in Testan is that we're using the semiconductor um, test module plug-in for uh, Testan so we can program relative to the device pin rather than the instrument channel. It also has multi-site abstraction and standard test data format, or STDF, uh, reporting. So let's go ahead and run this and we can see how this would work. And so we can, we can see that Testan will spawn two threads into to test each of our two devices in parallel. And so you can see here that, that we're able to debug and see what's happening. I can add breakpoints and, and uh, debug each code module in real time. And so with, with, now that we understand a little bit about how the test sequencing engine and the engineering interface would work, let's take a look at the operator interface. So now that we've seen the engineering interface, the software that a test operator would, would interact with is the operator interface. And so here you can see this LabVIEW-based operator interface um, is, is, is um, what engineers will work with. So let's go ahead and configure a, a lot to run. So we're going to use a simulated handler. We're going to do 40 devices. We're going to configure this for YLAN device test, the program that we wrote in TestDAN. We're going to go ahead and start a lot. And so here you can see things like uh, yield and um, pass and fail and binning. And so, so here we can, um, we'll have to you know, configure this to run. And so you can see things like passing, failing rates, test time. Here we're testing about two devices every 480 milliseconds, which is really quite fast. And so once this uh, run is complete, it'll produce the report file on disk, and the, and the test lot is complete. So I've given you an overview of semiconductor test system, the hardware, the engineering interface, and the operator interface. And so to learn more about STS, I go to ni.com slash STS.